Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Team of the Season player review with me, Boy FIFA 1 HD. We are going to be looking at the 89 rated Tyson card. But before we do, as always, if you could hammer the hell out that like button, I would sure damn appreciate it. If you also could hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel, that would really help me out as well. And if I can help you guys out in any way, you know, leave a question, leave a comment below. I'll answer every single one of you, I promise. So. Tyson and his mental physical comparison. There's a lot to love here. He is very very fast 99 acceleration is unbelievable coupled with 96 sprint speed is ridiculous his strength isn't amazing but it's not too bad either there at 73 his jumping also not that great but everything else is attack positioning his vision agility and balance all so so good then we move on we see great ball control dribbling finishing Slightly under par at 85, but still quite good. Uh, long passing, long shots, all of these point to a very promising player. We move on, we see four-star skill moves, which is always nice. Three-star weak foot, not too shabby. Medium, medium work rates, and he is obviously right-footed. He also comes with specialities of speedster, dribbler, playmaker, distant shooter, free-kick specialist, acrobat, complete midfielder, and the backs into player trait. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on Team of the Season Tyson were pretty mixed if I'm being honest. At times this card was breathtaking and just as the stats suggest, he is one unbelievable player. I mean 98 pace with 95 dribbling, 90 shooting and 89 on the base card stats already screamed out at me. I was like, I have got to try this card. He looks ridiculous. And at times he was. He would score some great and important goals. He would dribble past tons of players, you know, and he would really feel like a top quality card, like you were using like a Neymar or a Ronaldo, Messi type player. He felt that good. But on the flip side, there were also times when he felt absolutely dog shite. You know, I don't know whether it was just me having a bad night on FIFA, but I really do doubt that because the other players in the team were actually playing really, really well. So I'm not quite sure, and I'd be really interested to know if you guys have used him or are planning on using him. If you could let me know what you guys thought of him in the comments below, I would be super interested to see whether you also noticed the things I'm about to say as well. Because like I said, at times, he would do everything bar one thing right. You know, he would beat a few players, get himself in with his amazing pace and dribbling and then it would come to the shot and he'd sky it over the bar or he'd hit the post and that just seemed to happen quite a lot of times with this card and that led me to that inconsistent feeling on him because on the other side he would do everything right and it would all come together and you'd be like wow that was a great goal that was a lovely move that was a great bit of play that he would be at the heart of and he would be finishing off so for me it was very hard to call how good this card was because at times he was breathtaking and at other times he was pretty poor and he would let himself down an awful lot. You know there would be times where his pace even, which most of the time felt electric, but there would be also times where it felt really quite sluggish and there would be standard players like Koscielny and Smallin easily catching him up in a pretty even sprint which just didn't really make sense so I don't know whether that was just one of those weird nights on FIFA maybe I was coming up against good players or something I don't know but he did not feel as quick as some of the other team of the seasons with 98 pace that I've used they have felt very very quick all of the time he has felt very very quick most of the time that little bit of inconsistency really did downplay this card for me so while it's expensive because at the moment at the time of this review it is He's well over 100k you know you're talking 120 130k at the time that i'm doing this review i don't think he's quite worth the coins because he's limited with the league obviously you have got that brazilian connection which does make him quite easy to fit in but he is quite limited in where you can use him it would have been lovely if he was a striker although he is very usable at left wing or left forward and, and that inconsistency just brings him down. Whereas I think his price will drop. And when it does, I think then you'll be getting a very, very good player that you can use a little bit more hassle free and you will find him very, very good. So if his price falls anything under 60k, I think you are getting one hell of a player. But at the moment, I've had to give him just an 8 out of 10 because the price mixed in with that inconsistency for me really let him down but overall he's still a very promising card that i think for the most part most people will enjoy so i hope you enjoyed my review guys please hit that like button hit the subscribe and peace <laughs>